This video is sponsored by War Thunder. More on that later. You know, I've been playing quite a lot of roguelikes recently. Hades, Slay the Spire, more recently, my all-time favorite, I think, of this genre, Bellatro. It's a video game genre where it's like you get to just jump into a ball pit of dopamine, uh, but then you die, and you start all over, and you use the knowledge of previous runs. You guys all know what a roguelike is. I feel like there's probably been 500 video essays on them. For a long time now, I've always thought it would be really interesting to experiment with the mechanics and gameplay loop of a roguelike, but in the sandbox of Skyrim. You know, start weak, obtain some upgrades, gain some knowledge, die, and start all over. I'm just kind of repeating the definition of a rogue-ish, roguelike, roguelite, whatever the fuck it is, I don't know. In order to make this a reality, however, there's a few key things that we have to change in the game and a few things we need to add in order to make this possible. Number one, the first thing we need to transform Skyrim into a roguelike, a new map. More specifically, a connected series of dungeons, kind of like train cars, where every fifth car is a safe zone for you to restock, trade with a vendor, load up for the next set of dungeons. Oh my god. Oh dude, I'm sorry Luke. Or do whatever you want in here to keep your run alive. The rules of Skyrim still apply. Big shout out to Nethalithic for developing this mod by connecting the entrances and exits of over 100 dungeons in game. Without this mod, this experiment isn't really possible. Number two. Perk potions. You see, we needed an upgrade system adjacent to Skyrim's normal progression inspired heavily by different roguelikes. Ranging from simple stat changers to game-changing, build-defining abilities, perk potions get us fairly close to that risk-reward roguelike experience. My personal favorite perk potion? A little thing called Dildaros. No surprises at all here, but thank you to the always legendary DDM Link for developing all of the perk potions. They even had to listen to my bug testing feedback, so extra shout out for that. Now, hopefully the vision is a bit more clear on what we're trying to do here. There's other updates we wanna aim for in the future, like more perk potion variety, randomization in the dungeon order, seeded runs, so that you and a friend could, you know, run the exact same route and see who could make it the furthest. By all means, feel free to leave any suggestions that you have below for any of those features if you think this is a cool idea. Welcome our lab rat for the day, Hulk Rogan. He's on a quest to see how far he can make it in the endless dungeon gauntlet. More importantly, his job is to explore the mechanics of this challenge and answer the most important question. Is it any fun? Only one way to find out and that's by playtesting. Survival mode, expert difficulty, permadeath. It's a challenge that requires you to be resourceful and decisive, to make smart choices and learn the dungeons you're running through because every dungeon presents its own unique challenge. But forget all of that nonsense, we're here. First run, begin. Starts off in Bone Shell Passage. Oh my God, immediately it prompts me. It's like I knew what I wanted. Yeah, yeah, it starts off immediately with you getting attacked. Like <laughs> it does not, it doesn't relax at all. We're already starting off hot. Some cooked beef? Okay, okay, all right, I'm liking this. Hey, you know what, I have these. All right. Time to get serious. Boom. Time to get fully immersed in the game. Check it out. I'm in the game. I'm immersed. Careful. No. Shit. Oh. Oh, I'm screwed. Yeah, 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 go, 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 go. I'm getting caught on the rocks and everything. There's no way I'm out of stamina. I'm already, I'm gonna lose the first run. There's no shot. You can't let it happen. Fucking serious? A zero? Only fitting we died on the first dungeon, but don't worry. Don't worry, it's okay. Don't get your hopes too low. I think we're gonna be okay. We will bounce back. Doomed by the first shoes. I think it was the first shoes. We open with the wolf kill. Oh, this little dickhead. He switches to heavy armor. First shoes, I'm putting the first shoes on. Gotta be immersed. We go heavy armor because we have a heavy armor book right here, which I am taking, I will sell. Uh, I'm not even gonna really chance it with this wolf. Our first dungeon and we already have a problem to solve. With our path blocked by an ice wolf, which 
As you've seen, we'll kill us almost immediately. We need a strategy for this room because even if we get past it, we'll likely need to know how to do it again in the future. This is where I think a static order of dungeons shows its strength because we're already building a catalog of useless information with small bits of RNG along the way. I won't be showing every little detail of every dungeon, but this first one does a great job at explaining the philosophy of surviving while also making the most of the items at your disposal. First wolf, easy kill. Gold bag at the entrance, gotta grab that. Dead body just ahead, maybe they have a potion. Heavy armor skill book on the ground, then the wolf that blocks our path. Be a sponge. Absorb the seemingly useless information to eventually forge a better path ahead. Oh god, and then we get screwed on our debuff. Okay, so no left hand on this run. I would love it if the first time we get past the very first dungeon, <laughs> we get... We can't use our left hand. Oh yeah, I, I kind of forgot about this rule early on. But cool in concept, I guess, but a bit much while just playtesting. It was important to touch on for context. Anyway. There. I think that's my route. He's gonna get really confused trying to chase me on those rocks. Okay, where are you going? Oh, no, 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 don't even think about going that way. That's the way I gotta go. Go around, go around. Go, you little... Go. Caught you off guard. Outsmarted. Boom, we're in. And that is a high score of one. <laughs> Fuck you, wolf. Yeah, this is, this is kind of where with this playthrough, risk and reward starts to come into play. Ooh, hold on, I see that little chest over there. <laughs> You're not getting away from me, I see that. Oh God, that is huge. I can't use my left hand. Why? <laughs> Why now? But that's okay, we can at least convert it into some money. We've got skeleton pushing us now. Let's use voice of the emperor. That should get us past the, the mage. That is huge, that is so huge. We have 60 seconds now. Oh, beautiful. We'll disenchant the shield, take the XP. Left-handed Jao of Chi used left hand instant loss. Okay, I just scrapped and disenchanted a badass shield, and y'all are gonna sit there and be like, uh, but what did you just- Scroll of Oblivion Unbound invokes an unholy rage, rage in a summoned or raised creature granting 200% attack and movement speed. It heals 10 points per- What the f- That's like- ridiculously overpowered, but I might sell it because it's worth 2,500. All right, two down. Not doing too bad. Bleak Falls. I wonder if it's first half of Bleak Falls or if it's all of Bleak Falls. Mm -hmm. Away, Mr. Spider. Mr. Spider, away with you. You know, it's kind of weird. Normally spiders in games scare the shit out of me. Skyrim spiders never really have, but I feel like they've gotten scarier. Two hits. I forgot about the double hit and I forgot how much damage these pricks do. I think I just want to get through alive. I feel bad. I feel bad. Should I do that? Am I too good to be doing that now? Oh my God, he got me again. Okay, Trep, save me. Yeah, no, no, we're not playing that game. Oh, he has the ice. Why does he have ice? I'm dead, dead. Can I paralyze him? Resisted paralysis poison, of course. Do I have enough time to get past the trap and loop him back onto it? Maybe. Or the run is dead. Okay, it's been a pretty rough start. We still haven't even made it to our first safe zone, but we at least know the general layout of the run, some loot spots we can pray to RN Jesus at, and a few quick hacks to get around some early enemy encounters. We'll get back to the run after a contractually obligated thank you to the sponsor of today's video, War Thunder, the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. War Thunder is available now for free on PC and consoles everywhere. War Thunder is packed with hot features, including my personal favorite, X-Ray View, giving you an in-depth look at precisely what's happening during combat in-game. Make yourself cool and sexy with in-depth customization, camouflage, markings, and decorations so you can leave your personal touch on the battlefield. 
Take command of over 2,500 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships. Immerse yourself in the intense combat of War Thunder, where incredibly detailed vehicles, realistic graphics, and sounds place you right into the action. Join over 70 million players on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox using my link in the description or pinned comment. New and returning players that haven't played in six months will receive a massive bonus pack, including premium vehicles, the exclusive Eagle of Valor skin, 100,000 silver lines, and seven days of premium account access. This offer is only available for a limited time, so act quickly. Thank you again to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video. You guys aren't even ready. This is gonna be high level, high skill, idiot. Never mind, I'm the idiot. Oh, dog's even dumber. All right, two down. We're moving, we're grooving, we're juven. I can't believe I just said that. I can't, I'm... 25, what is up with these scrolls? Why are there so many really valuable scrolls? Watch it. Oh no. How in the hell did he leap like that? I've never seen that happen. Do I have, I'm out of healing potions? No, I have one. Everybody relax, we have three. I'm more than okay. I'm even gonna take Magicka just to offset the holy Christ, that was close. <laughs> oh no, that, that was really close. Look at that thing move. It's like it glides into murder position. Watch this thing. Look at that thing fly across the room. We're back, we're back. Except I'm not gonna play around with these two assholes. Oh my god. And, and then I proceed to just play around with them. You know what? I'm running through. Why do I have to make this game so difficult to stay asleep? Oh my god. I'm alive. Oh, get absolutely destroyed. Oh, is it the full Bleak Falls Barrow dungeon? Okay, I'm not going to sprint into this fight. I guess we could technically just avoid it. <laughs> right? We could just not go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Conjure Dramora Merchant. Okay, so we did get the Dramora Merchant. Now, the Dramora Merchant is kind of a secret mechanic of this challenge. Sign this contract. I gotta be honest, I have no clue where this is going, but of course I'm gonna sign it, yeah. I, we'll put something in post where I'm signing it. I, I have no clue. It's gonna be a close call on whether or not we can get any of the really game-changing potions. But now, I mean, we get to the first one. We're at Riverwood Trader. An ornament. So let's start with the Golden Claw. I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. <sighs> Ooh, they have healing potions here. And my sister. You won't get away with that! You gotta be shitting me. Dude, dude, I wasn't trying to steal the bucket. <laughs> He'll take the bucket back, right? We all good? Oh, I thought they were gonna go hostile. I just wanted to check the barrel for food. So we finally made it to a safe zone, and here's where I think this game mode has a ton of potential. Because of the previous runs where I had been cataloging every loot spot and valuable item that I could along the way, I'm at the trader with roughly 1600 gold, and now it becomes a game of chance along with some resource management and decision making. Here's where we actually can see the perk potions. Oh my god, he has cure disease! I'm gonna kiss you. Come here. <laughs> Give me a smooch. Oh my god. Yes. Yes! This is the run. We're gonna win. This is why I kept my bow. We got Dildaros. I'm taking it. <laughs> we have to take Dildaros. Arrows now have a knockback effect, and your archery damage is improved by 500%. You can only use Reekling Spears, and the knockback effect will stack if you get more than one Dildaros potion. Uh, Gilded Poison is also crazy. For every one minute, gain 100 gold at the cost of one max health, stamina, and oh my god, that one's so good. But I will take Dildaros. I have to see Dildaros in action, but then we have these scrolls. That one's worth 800, give me my money back. We're back to 1500, I think we can get a second potion. Increase stamina by 20, reduce health by 10. I'm gonna take it. I wanna say that Dildaros was supposed to give the player arrows, or if I pick up arrows, they now change into Reekling Spears! Okay, so it's working. Oh no! However, the thing with playtesting, especially with mods that can get their grubby little mitts all over different aspects of the game, a lot of stuff can break. Dildaros was making my bow and arrows invisible, stat changer potions were doing the opposite of what was intended. Earlier on, I completely skipped this part, but we had an attack speed bug where survival debuffs were actually acting in reverse and making my attack speed way faster. Please work. It got worse. <laughs> It got worse. <laughs> so we had to disable that portion of survival, and it, it, it's just a whole lot of stuff was going on. So after a day of playtesting every single potion and noting what was broken with each one, DDM released a patch, things were in order, 
but still broken on this character, meaning the only solution... Vegetarian. That's our debuff. So we can't eat meat. So there's an insane perk involving using a Warhammer. I'm gonna grab the Warhammer just in case we get that perk. Ooh, yes, we need the arrows. We'll just stock up on them for now. All right, I wanna keep this fight as easy as I can. I'm alive, and we have a really funny freeze frame on this guy back here getting Looney Tunes all the way across the hallway. I can already tell that you guys are gambling on something right now because people are getting mad at me. <laughs> Usually, whenever you guys are gambling on something, I'm, it's like half the chat wants to see me die. The other half is mad at me at the decisions I'm making. I think I'm gonna drop the Iron Warhammer for now. I'm gonna regret that. We're 100% getting the Warhammer perk. I'm going to put this back where it belongs. Before we actually look at the potions, let's take his potatoes. These are free. He loves us dearly, so I will steal them. This is vegan. I don't care. Why am I in first person? Potato soup. We do have Dildaros. It's in the shop. I can't afford it, though. I need about 400 more gold. We got screwed on our chests. We did not get very good loot. This one. I need this one. When a Warhammer is equipped, half of your current stamina is added to your damage. All successful hits use up all of your stamina. And I knew it, I told you, we dropped the hammer. Do I spend all of my money even though I can't guarantee I'll have a Warhammer? I should, next uh, next cave is Ember Shard. I should be able to get one there. I'm gonna take it, 1428. Whoa, whoa, wrong button, shit. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Already off to a great, fantastic start. Let's not die here. Come on. I just got my first ability. Don't kill me. Out of stam. Nice try. Keep him in the back. Of course he gets a hit in. All right, Rocky, I need you. I choose you. God, I love this rock. Name me one rock that has ever been more culturally significant, better in combat, more handsome. You know what? We're so leveraged into stamina right now with one attack. I'm gonna go restoration. And then, and then, hear me out. We get to the point where we get the perk. Healing spells also restore stamina. We restore our stamina mid combat. We get that bam with the hammer. Warhammer on rack. <gasps> oh, God bless you, Chad. See, this is why you guys are like my second set of eyeballs and my second brain and my second pair of hands and my second family. What we have to do is kite these enemies one at a time. Wonderful, exactly what we want. Now we grab them. Doom Rager, it's a stupid title. Okay, stamina is gone and we did not do nearly enough. Okay, that's not a stupid name. You're actually really powerful. Shit, I gotta get my stamina. Oh, okay, now there's two. Uh, forget Warhammer. Return to classic strategies. Oh my God, that's close. Please hurry up and die. Oh, and oh, and they heal themselves. Great. Rock, please kill them. I'm <laughs> not good enough yet. Let me charge up my special. What in the hell is that, Rocky? You can't get pushed around like that. Yeah, that hits hard. So when we're at lower stamina, look, it's only hitting 26. Max stamina, it hits for 80. All right, everybody, we are in uncharted territory now. Now it gets scary. Don't throw me anything stupid. I'm feeling too bad, but they start throwing Draugr whites at me. Okay, little spiders. Draugr? Go back to sleep. All right, but here's the problem. I wasted that on a level one Draugr rather than using it on the Restless. Now I'm out of stamina. Wait, wait, whoa, why am I taking so much damage now? Oh God, he's hitting me with frost. Okay, I think I have resist frost in here. We do, let's throw it on. Oh my God, no, he's gonna hit me, I'm dead. God, how am I alive? Whoo! There's no one behind. Okay, there are uh, two trailers. We have to keep falling back. I'll hide back here. Yes. Oh, holy crap. That was, that was bad. <laughs> All right. Damn, we have some good scrolls. Okay, let's, I'm, I'm willing to burn these fireball scrolls just so that we can have a couple of easy kills. Take the pressure off. Oh, fuck you. Could you imagine if I killed myself with the splash damage there? Oh, this is, I'm so locked in now. Now that we're going, I'm, I'm so into this. This looks trapped. God, am I getting to the point where I'm just like tossing stuff up and catching it? Like Nathan Drake. Never played Uncharted, but that just seems like something he would do. 
Yo, hold on. This one's throwing me off. What's the punishment for a wrong answer? I'm not looking it up. I'm not cheating. I'm not even looking at y'all, because I guarantee somebody in there is screaming about where the answer is. I will find it. Okay, I think if I approach this puzzle with a set of fresh eyes, maybe it works. Let's reset. Everybody relax. Everybody chill. Just calm down. I will find the password. It's no problem. I got this. Okay? Sometimes stepping away is healthy. You can reassess the situation as if you were somebody new. And that's how I'm approaching this today. I think you all should follow me. All right, anyway, where the fuck is the answer? I actually don't know where it is. Oh, I found it! <laughs> See, you approach the situation with a new set of eyes and all of a sudden it is clear. Your vision, it's like the clouds have dissipated. I'm so good. I cannot, uh, I'm, I'm just such an idiot, I suck. I think he's got ice. Yep, you can tell. I don't think he can reach this far. <laughs> he can't, maybe he can. Oh, he can hit the pole. We're outpacing him. Nope, bad idea. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. No way I actually did it! You've gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm, I'm not salty right now, I'm sad. <laughs> oh! Boom, what a find. Immediate 20 point health buff, huge find. Uh, do we go two handed this time? You know what, no, fuck that. I'm gonna rock a shield. I need a little bit of defense. Oh God, not this fight. It's the only fight I don't wanna do. You know, I have a crazy solution for how repetitive Bleak Falls Barrow is gonna end up being. I could just not die. It's probably my best solution, you know, get good. Um, not be ass, reach a level of competency necessary to advance. Oh, scroll fireball, give me that. So much better. I gotta use scrolls more often. It's in the name of the game. All right, first off, let's sell, let's get our money. Soul gems, ingots, gems, get out of here. Don't need you, you're garbage, you're trash. Four filled petty soul gems though, I'm gonna hold on to those. Potion of dragon souls is interesting, but absolutely not possible. If you drink the potion of dragon souls, it summons a frenzied dra- Frenzied. So it's a frenzied dragon priest that is twice the player's level. But if it dies, you get three dragon souls. Ah, you know what? I think I'm gonna take potion of potions. It's a gamble. I think we go for the gamble. So potion of potions, it gives you three potions. You have to drink all three of them. Ah, oh, fuck. It's over. Can Lucan kill a dragon priest? I guess I could run away. Okay, heavy handed is not too bad. 300% damage increase with two handed weapons. <coughs> The Lord Stone. Don't remember exactly what the Lord Stone does. I can hear the dragon priest. He's breathing deeply behind me. I think I'm just gonna run away. He doesn't really seem to be attacking all that much. Maybe he's broken? I mean, he looks official, right? When he's behind the shelf, he actually looks like he could work here. If it's broken, we move on. Dragon soul absorbed, okay. So I am assuming they actually did kill the dragon priest. Yeah. It's all coming together. None of you thought that it was gonna come together. We've accidentally fell into a two-handed Chad build. What are we dealing now with one perk? 91. It's so good. <laughs> I'm never using another weapon. You guys remember this puzzle? Oh, asshole. Even bigger dick. <laughs> okay, we're not that bad on gold though, surprisingly. Increase stamina, reduce health. We do have Dildaros again. I feel like he has Dildaros every time. Is that rigged? Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Potion of gambling. 50-50 chance to gain 2,500 gold or nothing at all. Steal your will, Chad. We will be gambling today. Please work. You know, I hate this game. I'm gonna take the fishing rod. Fishing rod could be viable in case we do get far enough on this run, which we will because this is the run and we are going to play very smart and calculated. What's up with the lighting in here? 
Do you actually cast Mage Light on yourself? Who does that? Why, why do you have Mage Light? Nobody uses that spell. What are you, an idiot? Now we can hang out. We're just gonna chill. Sit back, relax. What the hell did I just catch? Well, we sit here uh, and we wait for an enchanted item. Uh oh, okay, okay. No, we're catching the junk. This is good. Maybe you've had a stressful week, right? It's Thursday. It's basically the first Friday of the weekend. You need to take some time to relax with the soothing sounds of buckets, tongs, and possibly lanterns being hooked and pulled out of the water in the calm serenity of Ember Shard Mine. Enjoy the waterfall as it endlessly falls and you sit there asking yourself the question, huh, where is all of that water coming from? Feel inspired as yet another pair of tongs comes out of the water. I'm gonna read this ring and it better be good. If it sucks ass, I'll be disappointed. Resistance to magic, shock, and poison is improved by 20%. I can't believe this is the run we will get. Hmm, I must have to pay my rent. <laughs> It's time to get serious because this is the dungeon that we have died at three times now. I will not die at this time. We are going to beat it. Oh, man, that would have been cool, but I screwed it up. Keep falling back. Uh, OK, you have contracted brown rot. How is that brown rot? Get me out of this dungeon. I, I genuinely cannot wait until we're at the next safe zone. Although I don't think we get a safe zone. Oh my God, it's an enchanting table. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Destroy both of those, take the XP. Neth, I swear if you made this so that the fifth dungeon I run into is like a dragon priest or something. As soon as the fight starts, I think he's gonna summon on these two islands. I can't see why else they would exist. We gotta identify escape routes. There we go. Okay, we can get out of here pretty easily as long as I don't completely choke on the clambering of the ledge. Activate to purchase permanent upgrades. We're gonna call the battle mage in early. Let's call them in. Oh, you are fancy looking. Okay, you better carry this. All right, fight begins. I'm gonna fall back and just see if the battle mage can tank it. Get up, get up there and fight. Got it. He is gonna split into several. There's the real one. Go get him, buddy. Oh, oh man, this battle mage is badass. He has like a fully automatic icicle machine gun. Stop running back to me like a puppy dog and go kill. I'll light him up. Full auto game. I think we're good. Oh. Whoa! That's huge. That's massive. 30 increase to stamina is mwah, beautiful. Feldar's tooth is kind of scary. Lots of different enemies. Like, yeah, I mean, you can already see we've got traps. We'll just avoid. Oh, or, or we walk right into the bone chimes. I, did I just duck under that on accident? <laughs> I think I might have ducked under his attack. Fuck, fuck. Bandit mage pushing. Oh, he's a nice mage. Oh, that's a big problem. Okay, we got some decent damage in there. This is bad. Earlier I said one of our planned goals was to have dungeon randomization. It's a bit hard to convey on video in a timely manner, but it is exhausting going through the same five dungeons, looting the same enemies and chests, trying to keep a running tab of all the important hotspots, just to fuck up and lose it all. However, I was getting better, faster, more efficient each time, which is sort of the point of having a static order, so I like it for that, but I just wanted to have one good run, a run where the loot, planning, experience with the dungeons all came together and I got to really experiment more with the perk potions. I think there's a lot of directions this game mode can go in the future if you guys are interested in seeing it developed more, but in order to have a clearer idea of where it could possibly go, what balancing it may need, we have to go deeper. 
You guys excited to do this to the spider in Bleak Falls? If you thought Ice Wolf was entertaining, wait until the sequel. Oh, that's just so huge. That's just absolutely massive. We are back. This is the run. Cowardly? Maybe. Soft? Absolutely. Boring? You bet your ass. Effective? I guarantee it. Big time. I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll you can watch the potential crime disappear in real time. Amazing. Oh no, wait, we have to cure disease. We have to cure disease knockback. No. No, 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 no. We have to have knockback. We have to. It's so good. We get a 10% chance to send enemies flying when we hit them and a 2% chance for me to go flying if I get hit. I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna take it, and I'm not looking back. We'll figure out the disease. Okay. All right, we are now, we're, we're finding some stuff. All right, that adventure backpack, that's a 20 stamina buff, love it. Maybe we can scrounge up, hold on, hear me out. We can probably scrounge up just a little bit. I'm gonna scrounge up this money and I'm gonna get the cure disease. Uh, this cheese might net us not a lot of cash, but a little bit. Would you stop dancing around? Hey, hey, stop, hey. Gotta get real meta here so we can sell, sell off that cheese. That'll do it. Oh, damn. If I could get a level, I'm going to kill him. I have to kill them. Yeah, I think I've made up my mind. We're going to murder them. I need the XP. I can probably cheese a level up by killing them. We loop him around. Camilla's dead. Good. Get behind the desk. Ultimate protection. He missed. Woo! Nice try, Lucan. Oh my god, how'd he not get the power attack? Please level up. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Now we can get our restoration buff before we go on to the next set of dungeons. Oh my god. Oh, dude. I'm sorry, Luke, and I kind of feel bad, but I just kicked the shit out of you. I'm gonna go health. Restoration got a habit. If we dual wield daggers, then we're gonna hit enemies a ton. And the more we hit enemies, the better chance we have to send them flying. So I don't think I wanna really commit to a two hand build, but I need to commit to something that's going to be hitting enemies more than once. It works with flames? <laughs> if, if flames can send them flying, this is the run and we've beaten the game. I have become powerful. Yeah, get, get going, dorks. It's just so fun. Like, it feels so good to finally get revenge on these assholes. Got the Dramora Merchant again. Still really have no clue what this does, but it looks like it's a one-time use. Ah, a fresh mortal seems to bargain. Oh, okay. So he sells some good shit, but I think this is the only time I can call him in. We could go with Dildaros. Dildaros is more funny than anything. I gotta go for it. I gotta go for it. Come on, gambling. If we win this here, we take Potion of Potions. I mean, Unstoppable Force, heavy handed. We, we go heavy hand. Guys, we have to. I'm taking it. Ah! <laughs> Wait, don't, don't leave. I, is he gonna leave? Until you summon me again. No, 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 no. So he no, no, <laughs> he leaves. I didn't think he'd leave. Whoa, bear traps. I'm not gonna interrupt you guys. Hey, and you know what? Oh, trap. Rocky, good to see ya. How you been, my man? Oh my God, did you have kids? You bastard. I knew someday you'd turn in. I think we made it through now. Fuck yeah. Oh my god, new high score! New high score! It's an icy dungeon. It's a frost troll. It ain't happening. <laughs> well, we could easily just, right? Couldn't we just send him flying? Oh, it almost killed him. It did good damage, 
There's nothing here. There's nothing here. Antlers? All right, well, I'm gone. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, Bellathor, I've never been so happy to see you. We should definitely be able to sell our way. Boom, boom, boom. Get going, get gone, get out of here. I'm not afraid. I'm not fucking scared. You don't scare me, Bellathor. This is why I say to gamble, folks. Even if you lose, you will eventually get your money back. Fuck yeah, we're back. We're so back. Does anyone know what the Lover Stone is? Plus 15% skill XP rate? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that's good. Sacrificial health has no negatives in survival. Oh, because there's no natural passive heal rate in survival. We're gonna take that. It's 20 health on the house. We subtract 10 of that health and we take 20 stamina. So our health goes up by 10, our stamina goes up by 20 again. And I, I think we just pocket the rest of the gold. Where the hell are we now? I don't know, don't tell me we got the robots. Okay, we got some robo boys. That's all right, we can send them flying off this ledge. Oh no. I don't think it fully ragdolls them. Oh, okay, yeah, it's just, it's just a little stumble for these guys. I'm not gonna be able to challenge them in melee. They're gonna hit way too hard. And our flames thing, it's finally just balanced itself. Might have lost him. Short one. Moving on, we're making some cash. Swindler's Den, fairly easy, but also underrated. You can't sleep on Swindler's Den. It'll kick your ass. Unless you do that. <laughs> Unless you send them flying. Let's, let's, yeah, okay. It's a little bit easier to manage if we just throw them up the hallway. Still afraid of the bandit chief. Oh God, okay. Bought me a few seconds. Come on. Oh, don't do that. Come on, don't hit me in the face. <laughs> as much as the bandit chief wants to get back in this fight, he just won't. Just die. Run it up. Run the score up. Oh, what are, what are you, little ghost? What are you gonna do? Mm. Mm. I'm not falling for it. Yeah, I'll try not to get lost in here. I'm, no promises. I might get lost in here. Oh! Holy! Yeah, that was okay. All right, you got me there. That was a good one. That was a really good one. Yeah, put your stupid cold spell away. Mm -hmm. So easy. I'm so fucking good at this game at navigating the traps. Alright, you're annoying me. This guy's annoying me. Can I take him out? You're lucky. I don't know what's behind this door. I think it's gonna try and kill me. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay. Alright, is the ghost gonna be on my team? Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Well, there's more? <laughs> it's an entire- Okay, this is a lot- This is way too many. I didn't sign up for this shit. Let's go, bitches. Whoa, whoa, hey, that's my ability. You can't steal my swag. How did he get that ability too? Okay, I need this guy off of me now. It's so fun just launching him away. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, 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 let's relax. Let's everybody calm the fuck down, everybody. Okay, you're all freaking out and it's making me perform worse. You get out of here. You for sure. Are you okay? Yo, <laughs> you can't let them do that. Again, my move. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I love this thing. Oh yeah. I think we're good. Now hold on, time out, 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 time out. Does this room have like a big boss that's gonna kill me? Yeah, he's going up there. Okay, all right, fine. Ghosty Mick, uh, plasma face. You're gonna have to wait for me. King Olaf, one eye. Stop stealing my damn move. It's mine. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's a good one. Goodbye, King Olaf. After this, there better be. There better be an inn. Yes.
Yes, we got clumsy speed. I'm not even going to hesitate. I'm taking clumsy speed. We double our movement speed and every 30 seconds, there's a 5% chance we ragdoll and go flying. Potion of gambling. I'm going for a potion of gambling. Come on, please hit, please hit. Then we go potion of potions and we are insane. Yes, that is why I love gambling. I talk about it all the time. I am an advocate for gambling. <laughs> no, now this is going to be impossible to watch. <laughs> We're finally starting to break this character. So what Gilded Poison does is every minute in game, our maximum health, stamina, and magicka decrease by two. However, every minute we also gain 200 gold. So we can probably make a shitload of money. Push it the heavy hit. It's over. It's over. It's over. Okay. So now we move way too quickly. We gain money every minute. <laughs> our sword can knock back enemies. And you know what? Honestly, I don't really need you to anymore. It's pretty good. Okay, there we go. See, 200 gold added. All right, now we're passively generating money. It's so slow. But like, I can effectively dodge everything. And then just finish him off with a little side swipe. Uh, this is a bit awkward now. I gotta just move as fast as I can to get to the next one. So I'd, I'd rather not fight an Atronach. Let's zoom by. Holy shit. It's kind of unreal how fast you move all sprint. Whoa, whoa, why are there nine of them? I'm just going around. I'm going through. Okay, maybe doubling the player speed is a little bit much for this one. Now we're really speed running through it. I'm still not as overpowered as I like to think I am. Uh, okay, all right, this is a problem. So I think increasing my movement speed that much is, uh, it's compromised the other aspects. Oh God, oh, that was almost it, that archer has me. It, okay, so the speed is kind of compromising my looting ability. It's also, it's going to my head just a little bit. almost killed me. I'm at zero. <laughs> what? All right, I gotta stop fucking around. I'm gonna lose the whole run. Oh, oh, oh no, oh, I'm injured. Let's avoid them. Ooh, find the dungeon chest. Get around, loop it around. See, and then we hit mock speed. Boom. Oh, get out of town, dude. Later. Whoa! Okay, we don't want to fuck with the chief. That was the, the dumbest thing I could have ever done. Haters and shambles. How does it feel to suck, haters? Huh? Ow, 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 ow! How many bear traps are there? He's gonna... Follow me through... The door. All right, we got one run! Feels good. For playtesting and proof of concept, it's hard not to feel a little bit vindicated. The game mode works, mostly. It's not entirely balanced, but it has just enough moments of problem solving, risk reward, experimentation, and challenge. I think maybe having a perk potion or a class choice earlier in the run might help it a bit. Now, permadeath is the main game mode I think we're aiming for here, but I am sick and tired of running the first five dungeons. It's got its perks, which is why pseudo competitive seated runs with others sounds like a ton of fun in my opinion, but I wanted to try something else. We live in a world where the number of roguelikes continues to overflow steam each and every day, but there's also another genre facing an increasing epidemic of market overflow. With just a few rule changes, we're basically a Souls-like now. Permadeath is out, campfires, or in this case, merchant checkpoints are in, and death now returns us back to our most recent safe zone, removing all equipment, the majority of our cash, but level progression stays the same. I'll explain more in a bit. My game crashed. <laughs> We also severely broke the game, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, this doesn't count. This does not count if I lose. I'm not gonna... I got rock joint. We gotta at least get through Bleak Falls before I consider this the actual run where we get checkpoints. Come on down. The itsy bitsy spider climbed down the dragger shaft. Down comes the flames and wash the spider out. 
Ah! No, 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 don't let me die. I was singing you a nice little tune. And the itsy bitsy spider, holy fucking shit. Oh, we caught it. We caught it at the last second. Come here. Oh my God, I'm actually gonna lose Arvel. Yeah, he's too quick. What the, where the, where do you get off? I'm gonna stock up on their arrows. I think I do wanna make this a Dildaro's run. I'm gonna go for it. Oh no, not the wraps. Don't hurt the linen wraps, they did nothing wrong. Dungeon cleared, we got our first checkpoint. My favorite Bleak Falls exclusive streamer. Guys, you, th you all might think that region locking went away from the channel. We're just not leaving Bleak Falls Barrel. This is Skyrim without leaving dungeons. Potion of Potions is overpowered. If there's one thing I've learned from these runs, Potion of Potions is broken. We could take foolish health, take the 20 buff. I'm okay with having less magic on this run. Raise dead enemies. Yeah, let's go Ritual Stone, foolish health. I'll take 10 less magicka, and then I'll take 10 less stamina. We go Rocky. Always consistent, Rocky loves seeing you out here in the battlefield. How you been, how are the kids? Okay, I have a feeling if I use the ritual stone on these guys, they're just gonna die to Rocky trying to get out of this room, but let's see. Sorry for taking your clothes. Uh, you need to equip the sword. What are you doing? Hey. Okay, I think he just died again. And we're not gonna be stupid in here. Ooh, do I remember the password in here? Okay, true test of Skyrim knowledge. How broken is my brain? How consumed is it? Devoured. Let's make a deal. Oh, potion of gambling? Oh, we're taking it. Oh no, Dildaros! I'm taking it. I know it's a meme ability, but we've been playing really well. Should have bought the gamble po- I should have. Oh, or I could hit them with the power of floppy arrow. Okay, we need to get some falling damage on him. So we'll route him back up here and hopefully be able to just knock him off the steps. Come on, it's gotta kill him. <laughs> Damn it, give me the fall damage. If he hits right here. Come on, kill him. Yes, Dildaros for the win. The trajectory of a bomb, the power of a large wiener. We got him, there he is. Got him. Bye bye. Is it cruel to just launch a big floppy phallic looking spear into this dog? Dog? <laughs> dog? Guys, I don't know what happened. He's in the walls. Got a kill. That's gotta be a kill. Oh my gosh, we might be able to clear this dungeon. If we get everyone to the top of the steps, we send them flying, it's game over. Oh God, it's a vampire, where did- I'm dead. I'm actually dead, this is gonna hit me. Is this gonna hit? No, it didn't! Run! No, no! No fucking way, the dog! He came back! Unbelievable. So with the new rule set, rather than us being sent all the way back to the wolf and redoing Bleak Falls, all the other dungeons and whatnot, we only go back one safe zone using Ash's death mod. This means that even though we're ass fuck naked, we keep all of our level progression and any perk potion abilities. I then edited dungeon refreshes to only take a few hours, meaning a quick nap puts everything back in place and we're back on track. Oh, come on, this ghost sucks. Never mind. This ghost is actually hard as fuck. Oh, <laughs> yes! Drown? There's no way Draugr can swim. How in the hell did you find your way? How is he resistant to water? He's hydrophobic. Wait, so am I. Ah! Why did it do that? <laughs> Wait, what? Does the Reekling Spear flop ability apply to bow bashing? Did you take him out that quickly? Also, you look really cool. Where do you get off being really badass cool and sexy all at the same time? That's not fair. I'm none of those. Nord Great Sword of Chills. Number five, Ancient Nord Great Sword. You stop it, stop it. I'm gonna start developing a, a crush on you. 
my god, it's actually just Skyrim Carlac. Look how tall she is! I'm weak in the knees! All right, let's see what we can get, though. We took the speech perk, which is big. I, I do like unstoppable force. But who do you think I am? Huh? You think I'm some kind of coward? You think I'm a bitch? You think when it's on the line, I'm not gonna go for the gamble? I gotta go for the gamble. We hit the gamble. We get the enchanted shield. We disenchant. We lock in that enchantment forever and we have it. Come on. Okay, she's dead. Now for the ghost. Yeah. I know what to do. Hear me out. How does that not kill him? How did that not kill him? Come on, that was so cool. Oh my god, that's so bad. I need a minute, I need a minute. Because now Ember Shard is becoming my Bleak Falls. I don't want to go through Ember Shard again. Although I want to try something real quick just because I think it would be kind of funny. Hear me out. <laughs> Hear me out for a second, chat. The items, you know, cater to some of our more... What in the... Why would the game do that? They only have a dagger. Do you have, oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> It's a poison dagger. Don't set me back, please. Please, I just got here. Hey, you had some tough losses. I know, I get it. I get it, but get it the f He almost, oh my God, up. Oh. <laughs> I want it. Get the You've been through Bleak Falls Barra 20 times. Over and over and over. You've been through Ember Shard over and over and over. You've been through the thing with the other guys, the Draugr. Oh. Play the game right! Quit playing like a dipshit and you will survive! No more stupid decisions. No more, haha, I'm so good at this game. I'm gonna do something creative and fun. No, only boring, straightforward Skyrim. We made it! Checkpoint! Fuck you, Skyrim. That's good. It's good and we could disenchant, but do you have a potion of gambling? <laughs> do you have... But do you have a way for me to waste all of my money? This would suck. Imagine being a ghost. You're just chilling in prison. You're in the afterlife, but you're also in jail. And some guy just shows up to bully you. I want to say that this next round to the safe zone is easier than the last one. Oh my god. How? How? How does everything still have so much goddamn health and do so much goddamn damage? Go. Yeah, yeah, you know what's coming with this arrow, don't you? That's why you back away. You're afraid of me. Oh, that was close. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Come on, y'all. Gentlemen, let's talk about this. Of course you resisted it. Why wouldn't you? Oh my God. Oh my God. Stop it. Enough. I'm out of stamina. Now we can take a nice little break. Okay, it's a bandit dungeon. Everybody, this is going to be easy. It's time for just some nice, calm ass kicking. Y you little bitch. That was a nice shot. I hate this hallway. You know what? I'm going the other way. I'm going to hit them from the flank. I can get up there. What is that? Is that the next dungeon? Did I just speed run the challenge? Hell yeah, I'm taking it. All right, what are we doing here? Oh, I hate this dungeon. This one is just where the ghosts like. Are you for real, dude? Oh, I'll show you. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on, stupid wall. Come on. Where do you get off? You're covered in moss. I'm covered in the blood of my enemies. That's all right. That's okay. I, oh, ooh, 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 wait, no, 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 no. The next few dungeons are gonna suck ass naked. <laughs> I can't, I can't fight the ghost naked. Do you understand how hard it is to fight ghosts naked? I'd rather just beat Bellathor's ass. You know what I am? Yeah, call the guards. They can't get here. They have no way to access this place. I'll show you. Have a shitty inventory during my challenge. Where the fuck do you think you're going, Seagird? Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, how do I keep missing, please? Got him. Am I out of arrows? Yeah, I'm out of arrows. Okay, all right. It's officially fucked. What? Aha, he's shouting at me from the other side of the circle. He doesn't know how to manage it. That's interesting. If I stand on the middle, what are you going to do then? Ah, your brain's really broken. Oh, oh I... We're going to have to know how to time this right. Damn, this fight's going to be tough. Okay, that's a restless right here that's getting up. Gotta take this slow. And by slow, I mean incredibly fast on the ones that we know we can take out. I have to stay at full health, though, at all times. Where are you coming from? Oh, I see it. Ah, oh, the door closes. Okay, I'm already stuck in the room. Shit. Oh my god, he he de -aggroed. What an idiot. <laughs> what a moron. Where's this asshole in the back? Where are you going? Is he rallying the troops? Olaf is cooking over here. Atta boy, Olaf. You got this, buddy. Sorry, sorry, Olaf, my bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy, I didn't have it. All right, let's make a joke of this boss. Nice try, Olaf. Oh, 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 oh. We might be able to get him from up here. That's a lot of height. Okay, he's tanky. All right, come on, give it to me. Julianos, not bad. We can disenchant that, I think. Made it to a safe zone. 1504, I don't know if that's gonna be enough to get any of the really good ones we got. Potion of knockback, that's decent. I guess we, oh, you know what? We have the money, so let's just skip Elgrim. Don't like his inventory, let's go Dramora Merchant. Orcish Sword, not bad. For 209, a big upgrade. Potion of potions. I guess it's the closest thing to gambling that we have. We'll take the potion of potions. Nothing crazy, give me three potions of gambling. That's what I want. Ah. Uh. Potion of Revival lowers max health by 20 points. Upon dying, you will be revived at max health. Can only be used once. I got a weird feeling that this is going to clash super hard with the death mob that we have. Potion of Sprint Healing is... Ugh. <laughs> Here's the problem. My stamina regen is completely removed. I don't think the run is fully borked, though. We do have to take a lot more things into account now. Have to go stamina. I think we have to go like pure stamina from now on. Oh my God, cure disease, I'm taking it. I have to. Why can I, what? I didn't mean to grab it, I was trying to, I was trying to. If I die in the store, I'm gonna be so pissed. Wait, sprint healing. Oh my God, it barely heals me at all. Yo. This is not happening right now. This Elgrim, it was an accident. I, you know, I'm drinking the potion. Fuck you. I'm drinking your potion. Are you done? Get up. Elgrim, this didn't have to happen. I just wanted one potion. Why did he? Oh, that is the cutest way I've ever seen someone die. Look at that. He's adorable. Like, doesn't he look like this is how people who honk shoe when they're asleep? This is how they sleep. I hate this dungeon. If this is an all mage dungeon, I, I dislike it a lot. What? I've never seen that many red dots before. <laughs> That's a lot. Holy shit. Uh-uh. Nah, we can't have that. They're just going to keep sending so much after me. Although crazy damage on the Atronach. Why are the three Atronachs now? There's, they just keep adding Atronachs. Okay, one down. Might mean two down if it got rid of his Atronach. Not good, I'm running out of real estate here. Rock, what do you mean rock joint? It's a ghost. Ghosts don't carry disease. Immersion crushed, immersion ruined. This game sucks, I hate this game. That was a big shot. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get back down. We have two more ragdolls on him. Staff of Firebolts, I like that. I might hold on to that one. This dungeon is actually really fun. This is a pretty fun fight. Wooden Staff of War. Elemental damage that does three points per second to health, magicka, stamina, targets on fire, take extra damage. Hear me out? Whoa. We go Firebolts and Staff of War. Dual wielding staves. That's the plural of staff, right? Staves. We've had this conversation. Why do I get so I get so caught up on plurals? All right, but we need to shape up here because I think we're going to have a safe zone after this dungeon. We got a good thing going. Let's not fuck it up. Let's lock in. Come on. Will this guy go down, please? There we go. Okay, he's down. I can run in a circle to get my health back. They can't touch me. 
Put them, in a, put them in a vortex spin cycle of healing. Stabs are back out. Vortex of healing. <laughs> I love this strategy. That's why you're doing good damage. Because she's got orcish arrows. Oh, that killed him. Nice. Come on, safe zone. Two potions of gambling. Yeah, I'm due. I'm due for gambling to hit twice. Come on. This is huge. God, I hate you. I just don't like you. If you, We can't fail twice. How do we fail them both, man? Okay, that's two. Not bad. Three souls. I'll take it. Oh, three. Draugr White. That's the first tier three Draugr I think we've ran into. Don't think I have a soul gem large enough, but I'm going to go for it. Nice. Okay, we can capture them. What did it go into? Uh-uh. You're right, I do. I fear the dead. I know, cheating. Oh, that's tough. Even for a ghost, you gotta feel a little bit if you see them land with their nads right on the corner. Well, hold on, time out, boss fight. Wait, hold on, if he's gonna call in ghosts here, this is gonna be a really tough fight. I wanna say there's an effect on him where if he's close by, he's gonna be hurting us. Uh-huh. Yeah. No doubt. We're going to have to ragdoll him again at some point. We can't let him get close. He's going to deal frost damage if he gets close. At that point, it's over. Use the pillars for defense if we can. All right, keep him loose. Keep him on the ground. Only way we get through this fight. What the hell? I'm getting hit by things I can't even see. Oh my god. Nice. I let the melee get me. Oh God, precision targeting, why? I hate having to rely on my aim, it sucks. How many of these left do we have? I should have grabbed more arrows, 12. Oh man, wait, we got a free revive. I forgot, we took that potion, we have a revive. We're back, we're so back, we're so, uh Okay, we're still in this. All right, the big bad is back. Oh God, he does so much damage. How the fuck does that hit? He missed. Oh, I need him to hit the pole. No, how this ended up being so much more intense than I ever could have imagined it would be. Ritual stone. Okay, we get ritual stone on. I don't think it raised any of the dead around me. Oh, because they were, there's no dead bodies in here. They were all just ghosts. He didn't ragdoll, it's the, uh, the final arrow doesn't ragdoll. At the very least, we got a hit on him. Come on, stay alive. God damn, and he goes the other way. This is moving way too quickly. <sighs> How the fuck? <laughs> Woo! By order of the Jarl, stop right there. Wait, what did I do? No, mercy! Gods. The video is over now, but before you go, another reminder and thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video. For exclusive sign-up bonuses and content, use my links down below to get started.